Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Dead Estate. We are back again. Previously we had a really hard time as Jules playing on painful mode. So this time we're going to head back to normal. We're going to play as Mumba. Mumba's kind of insane. Uh, starts with, if I remember correctly, incredibly low HP. Yeah, two. And very fast fire rate and movement speed. Pretty fun character, really. Uh, but... A lot of risk associated, gonna have to spend a lot of money on buying HP. This is a very, very, very good but bad room for us. I'm trying to get all the money I can more than anything. This room's potentially so good for money, so I don't want to miss out. This was a very, very good first room, to be honest, to, to build up all, oh, really. Build up our money, and then I immediately walk into a dude. Okay. We get a gun at least. Laser gun. We've used this before. This laser gun's pretty darn good. I like it. Also, this, this guy looks like he has higher damage, too. I can't remember if that blood hurts us or not, but I feel like it does. Either way, yeah, this guy, we might, we might have, a few, have to have a few goes with him, but he's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. My sort of style of character. Definitely my style. Right, uh... Don't want to go for that while we have no HP, I think. I thought it's not a secret room, then. My bad. Now we've got good money, we should check out Cordelia's shop. What do you have for me, Mrs. Boob Lady? Hey, that's the HP we need. Um, That's pretty good. Ah, we're close to that. We'll, we'll try and buy that. Loads of these scorpion- oh my god. That's incredible. Loads of these scorpion enemies. Increase maximum health and jump height. Hey, maximum health increase. Hell yes. Hell yes. Okay. This this item's good. Real good. But yeah, I think we're definitely gonna get used to the game on normal mode first. And then after that we can start doing other stuff. Um, I think the the game audio is a little loud in terms of the sound. We'll try that. Don't want to overpower everything else. Okay, good. We're, we're fine. Destroy all the pots. But yeah, what are you guys thinking of Dead Estate at the moment? Are you enjoying it? I'm really, really enjoying it. I think this game's really, really fun. It's just, it's different. It's, it's just, it's something unique, which honestly in the roguelike sphere at the minute, like with all the games that are coming out at the minute, it's it's refreshing because roguelikes, a lot of them can get quite samey. Um, and this one, yeah, it's, it's got a bit of uniqueness to it that I quite like. Okay, so what was in Cordelia's shop that we wanted? I can't remember. Hello there. Uh, a weird magazine, yeah, I'll buy that. And then, do I buy HP or damage here? I'm gonna buy damage considering I got three HP. A bit risky, but I love damage. Everyone loves damage. It's got, it's got to be damage, always. Killing stuff faster, there's nothing more fun. Anyways, let's use this laser rifle to absolutely decimate the uh, thingy. Oh, we should do our challenge room first, actually, before big old um, angry man gets involved. But yeah, in painful mode as well, we're having a lot of hard times with him. Go time, fellas. It's go time. Oh yeah, the enemy splitting up and hurting each other is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Like it's just the chain reactions just keep it going. And we get ourselves move faster while jumping. Ooh, damn. 
We already move faster. This is pretty incredible. Look how, look how far we can traverse in a single jump. It's, it's just absolutely crazy. Love it. We do actually have enough to get some, buy some HP as well if you want. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Remember, when this guy splits, the money does not... It, it disappears over time, so... Got to kind of be on it with grabbing all that money. We could buy more damage now, though. You know I love damage. Oh, my health as well. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Really, really good first floor. This is the difference between normal mode and hard mode. It's just, it's absolutely night and day. It really is. That, that hard mode. I mean, I, I actually really respect a game, especially a roguelike, that has a genuinely difficult hard mode. Because, like, Isaac's hard mode is just kind of nothing. Turbo mode is kind of nothing on Gungeon. Like, this is an actual hard mode. But damn, the speed at which we move is incredible. I think I want to keep using this laser. It's serving us clearly quite well. New Cordelia shop, what you got for us? Hey, little guy. Move faster, but you're also more slippery. Um, release a big explosion when you hit 1 HP. Grants an extra jump. Don't think any of those are really that valuable for us. Extra jump could be interesting with the movement speed in, in the air we've got going on. We don't need it, it'd just be nice. Are we one -shot We're one-shotting blue pots now. I like that. Tell you what, I really like one-shotting pots. That makes a big difference. Yeah. And... Shrink some enemies and decrease their health. Pretty good. Like, I love this. His pistol just has such crazy um, damage off the bat as well. Fire it. Machine pistol. I guess I could buy that. I've only got five ammo left in this thing, so. Not likely to get a hell of a lot done in this room with it, but there you go. We got a kill with it. Air kill's good enough for me. Bunch of these enemies. Hopefully, they group up and just all die to my uh, comedy thing. Okay, we are, yeah, we are steamrolling right now. Great. And we get ourselves hit zero HP, you'll stay alive rapidly losing money. And funky syringe, significantly boost your damage and attack speed. Holy shit. That is significant. So we're doing 18 damage before. 26? What? That must be like one of the rarest items in the game. This is an insane, insane boost. Okay, this run's incredible. This run is incredible. Double handgun. Yeah, everything's gonna bow down to our mercy at the moment, because... Got them. We're going to be killing stuff extremely fast. Gotta remember the funky syringe for uh, future runs, because this thing is incredibly good. Right. Get out of here. Use that double pistol. Still need to unlock the alt path as well. I have been told how to do that. I think it's beating the um, beating the game as the witch, as Cordelia herself, once we've unlocked her. Which I believe, to unlock her, we need to beat the game as Jules. So. Playing Mumba doesn't really do much for us right now, but... I mean, come on now. This is... This is insane. <laughs> wow. Give me anything that increases my fire rate from this point onwards and I will love you forever, game. 
This is the Mumbu Power. He's a freaky little boy, and I like it. Stop jumping, fool. Enemies are taking close to each other, that's nice. Money is really, really good right now. We're just able to clear out pots and stuff so quickly as well. It's not an issue. Like, how is this a pistol? We do have another weapon there, but no, not much point in uh, going for it yet. use this for a little bit just to use up the ammo this thing might be worse than my pistol sorry for going out of bounds what i'm confused toilet paper lowers our maximum hp to two i i still don't think that's worth doing quite yet Flame cannon. What do I do to... Yeah, recycle this. Grab that. This thing seems cool. Take whatever this is. Flame cannon. Wow. Holy shit. Makes all of your bullets slightly radioactive. I like it. How much money we've got. God damn. We haven't seen Cordelia's shop yet. I don't want to go to the snap shop quite yet. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the radioactive shots actually do for us, but I imagine it's good. Seems like split split shots sometimes. Ah, bugger. Bad hit. Increase rate of fire. What was I asking for? I'm saying it's a bonus coin each time you break a pot or kill an enemy. Nice. Extra loot appears on the balcony floor. And why not at this point? Is that a secret room there that I saw? No. He's lingering above me. Taken care of. See you, that little score. Oh my god, thank god I left in time there to not get hit by the shots. I don't know if I get the money when I leave the room like that, though. I was like, where the hell am I going right now? Chest room, of course. Got HP there. What do you hold for me? Increase your damage. Oh my goodness. Fire rate and damage are off the charts right now. How was Chunks not showing up yet as well? At them. Been in here, okay. I mean, if you think you can step to me, well done. But I assure you, you cannot. Yeah, that's what I thought, my good guy. That's what I thought. <laughs> you cannot step to me. 
Mr. Friendly. Hmm. Don't know how valuable this is going to be, but we'll try it out. Squeak him to death. It's just not, it's literally just a little teddy bear. Holy shit, this is good. Oh my god. I mean, anything's good with the damage we have, but I didn't expect that teddy bear to be that good. Okay. That's more of a room clearer though, I'd think, because it's got AoE to it. <laughs> He's holding the little bear. I love it. It's just like, this is my little friend. Don't judge me, it's my little friend. I love him. Stranger. Uh, chance to fire double the normal bullets of project. Oh my god, that's amazing. Comes Jack Lantern Buddy that attacks enemies. Go for the max HP here. Up to six max HP, nice. The fire rate is just insane. Oh my god, I'm losing a lot of HP right now, though. We have Ambrose we should grab if we need it. Which is crazy. Absolutely nutty. The shadow from the lamp was distracting me then. My goodness. Teddy Bear, you are the best. You are the best item we could possibly have. Imagine having this with that super glue we got last episode where it makes that an infinite. We would be so fine. Oh shit. That was a very good hit you got on me there. Okay, so we're all out of teddy bear now. My god, the jump across the room, I love it. Fires a constant stream of lasers. 600 ammo. I thought there was a heart in there. Don't think this does much for us, but this will be easy nonetheless. I think it just makes the enemies drop, like, different coloured blood that do does damage to other enemies. Okay, this thing... Burns through ammo, but got damn. Also very, very good. Yeah, it leaves all this little blood look that I'm pretty sure it does damage to other enemies, I think. I'm not actually sure if it does or not. 33 damage a shot with this setup. Need a bit more health. Let's try all these pots. It's just the fire rate. I can't. I actually can't believe you can get to this level of fire rate. It's crazy. Hey, there's that HP I'm looking for. The golden fella in there. Allows you to find extra secret rooms each floor. Nice. Healy guy. Would normally be a pain, but for us, not so much. More HP. Awesome. Quickly check this out, because why not? Yeah, unfortunately. Actually, I suppose I could buy an ammo refill. It's not very expensive. Not super necessary right now, obviously, but... Okay, let's demolish whatever boss this is. So much money as well. Yeah, 
There was no chance for you. Right, and then we've got this other elevator over here that I want to take instead. You really want to step to me, my, my boy? Yeah. Not a good idea, is it? <laughs> Not a good idea. You stand there thinking, ooh, I'm chunks. I'm gonna muscle in here and no. No. <laughs> no, big guy. We are Mumbu. We can we can take you out in a heartbeat. There is no chance for you anymore. Okay, this this is the bank. This is different than where, where I was before. Oh, so is this just a floor with a ton of money? If so, a bit more than we need. I can deposit money. Awesome, okay. Okay, nice. Put a bunch of money in there. We didn't need all the money we had, so why the hell not? If this is the last floor, I should have just put it all in, actually. I don't, I don't know if this is the last floor, though. I mean, to be fair, the episode's kind of short. I could loop. I don't know if there's uh, stuff associated with looping, but I could loop. I could, and I probably should. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I probably should have donated all my money there, but oh well. Yeah, we'll do some looping. Why not? Get our shit first, though. If there was ever a run to be good for looping, it's definitely this one. This is the extra loot, I think, here. Oh shit, hello. Full ammo on this thing, nice. Spinning flame that circles around you and burns enemies. Nice. All enemies take a significant amount of damage when you get hurt, but uh, take two... Ah, nah, that's fine. Gain damage and fire rate at 1 HP. Enemies will take damage when they touch you. I guess I'll take both of these just in case. Can't do anything with this yet, can I? No. Okay, let's go back this way now. Go! Another go around. Assembling the next level. Yeah, why not? Why not? We're only at 20 minutes. I don't really know how much more difficult it gets on a loop, so I'm curious. And this run's a lot of fun, so. I don't want to put this run down. Whoa, 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 whoa. what the fuck's that thing? What the fuck is that thing? What the hell? Okay, so there's new enemies on loops? Is that the case here? What's hitting me? Okay, things are clearly amped up a bit here. Okay, everything costs double as well. Okay, so we might die pretty swiftly here. We've got to be careful. These little bat things, these little new enemies are crazy aggressive. Decent if we get a shotgun, I guess. We're going to buy an Ambrosia as well if we can afford one. New enemy there as well. Okay, the fact that there's new enemies on loops is awesome. I did not know that was the case. Right, let's go get... Uh, let's, uh, let's just get the key first. That's a backtrack. Go buy an Ambrosia, just because I lost a lot of HP to a lot of stupid shit there. I realise they cost 600, it's a very, very tall ask, but I'd rather not die on this run. It's a lot of fun. Have fun out there, thank you.
Oh, there was a heart there that I missed. My bad. The heart there as well. It's just money, really, though. Dude, those little bouncy motherfuckers. Calm down. Oh, and the heart disappears as well. I forgot that on this mode, the hearts disappear. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to afford anything from you, am I? Nah. Wait, does Ambrosia cost less from you? Ah, balls. It does. Half the price. I did not know that. I did not know that. My bad. Right, whatever boss you throw at us. Might be a new boss, I don't know. Whatever boss you throw at us is probably going to die pretty quick. <clears throat> this weapon is so good. It bends through armor pretty darn quickly, but god damn is it satisfying to use. Probably want to just use it on the next floor though, because I don't think I'll be keeping it through to the boss. Unless I could just like fight the boss really early if I end up getting the key. Oh, we got this golden floor again here. This is—is is that the bank that time, or? I'm hoping that the, the bank, the, the deposited money, I can retrieve on future runs. I'm guessing that's the case. Oh, secret room, I didn't realize. Uh, breeze pods? Don't really know what that does. I think it sped the music up a little bit. Or changed the music. The music's popping a little more. Okay, all that ammo on that bad boy. That guy's tiny and less health, nice. So th this guy spawns other enemies. We've got a sleepy time room here, what the fuck? Oh, this room's rough. Lots of beefy enemies now. Arm it now. Find a place to rest. I have no idea what I'm meant to be doing here. It says get out on the wall, so it kind of scares me a little bit. I don't seem to be able to do anything in that room. I hear you, my guy. I hear you. Hey, yo. Oh, some pots will explode in destruction. Transport is burst into more bullets on impact. Hell yes. Plus two max HP would have also been good. Okay, that, that, that's lovely. I'm liking that. Liking that a lot. Bullets bursting into more bullets is always my gem. Always something I enjoy. Just satisfying and just oh, the DPS. Oh, there was a heart there. I left. God damn it. My bad. Wasn't even paying attention. Oh, I took damage there, dude. Fucking spiky ball in the middle of the room keeps hitting me. I was like, what the hell's sake dealing damage? It's got them spiky ball. Still killing stuff at a very, very decent rate. Comedy's helping too. And we get ourselves big explosion when you hit 1 HP. We have a few effects when we hit 1 HP now. A paddle. Interesting. Don't know how useful that'll be. The ex extra damage in fire rate, I'm sure it'll be good. Golden Gauntlet. 
Interesting. You're a pain in the ass. Stay clear of you. Oh my god, these enemies definitely have a lot more HP now. Oh my god, I got hit again. Toilet paper's there. No chunks, no thank you. Okay, this is, this is a limited range. Ah, it's the Leviathan Egg. This thing isn't even that much better than our actual pistol. Now, it's limited range as well. It doesn't split, so no thank you. A little bit worried about my current HP. Hoping this is the kitchen this time. Could have popped all those red ones, really. I'm hoping this is the kitchen this time, but I think it's going to be the bank again. Brick pots for extra money. I've been doing that a lot. Religiously so. The kitchen, yes! You get that, which is... Uh, weapons release large explosion when they destroy or run out of ammo. We get that, which is... Move faster when you have less money. It got another one of those. Makes you move faster. Increase max HP and jump height. Increase your max HP but slows you down a bit. I think I'm gonna take all of those. The slow, the slow down a bit. Oh god damn! So much max HP. Yeah, the slow down a bit is like kind of a blessing. Oh, there you go. I got the fighter as well. Great stuff. Yeah, the slow down a bit is actually not bad because this character's fast as hell. Oh, hello. We also got another character. Okay. Really good progress this run. I'm very, very glad I looped. It's also nice to see that you can get unlocks on looped runs too. That's really nice. A lot of games don't allow you to do that. I suppose the runs are quite short in this, so... But yeah, lowered speed for a lot of extra max HP I think is well worth it. And also, as well, we still have insane movements to be bothered jumping, too, so... Yeah, we're now at 8 out of 12. Don't really gotta worry too much. We don't have a secondary weapon right now, do we? He's straight away, really nice. Keep leaving the room before I pick up money as well, it's kind of stupid. Health shop there. I'll leave that for now. Hit again. Hey, we've got some health there. Health drops have been kind of rare, but we're getting them here and there. We'll go back to the start. Yeah, I'll come back to the, uh, the stat shop. All I can really buy, though, is max HP and movement speed now. I've, I've fully bought my damage out, so... It's not really an avenue we can take. Oh, my lord. A lot of money. These hearts are a big pain in the ass. They just make the rest of the room a, a trouble. Whoa! What the fuck is that? What the actual ever-living shit is that? That's the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. I've done the boss by accident. It was not my intention. That thing scared the shit out of me. Some sort of... Shrimp. I did not know what that thing was, but I did not like the sight of it. Are there chunks here? Okay. 
Probably shouldn't do it in this room, actually. Oh, you've healed 200 and I deal 34 a shot, so... What of it, good guy? What of it? I'm guessing you have more health on a on a loop, but I'm still thinking we can kill you, yeah. Pretty easily, actually. Stops him annoying the hell out of us while we do the rest of that floor here. Another new enemy here. Got hit there. Not more HP though, but it's fine. These these are the rooms where the goddamn heart is a problem. We got it there. Even with the increased health of this loop, we're still wrecking most enemies. I'm trying to think of what other items could really make this run. I really want to find that super glue again so we can get a permanent other uh, like other gun. This gun's fun, but what is that thing? How scared of it do I need to be? Take that. I'll take that as well. How scared of that face do I need to be? Because that is horrific. Secret room. Pulses are bringing after five seconds is fine because we can destroy them so easily. I also like having a grace period when it enters rooms now. It's very, very nice. Is this just jump height? I think this is just jump height. That one's tiny. Oh, really? All of these guys? Taking mad damage just to be a goose. Movement speed? Okay, that's fine. It's like 35 items in a single run as well. Dude, we got a bank at the floor again. Or kitchen or whatever this is going to end up being. We've already done the boss as well, right? Just the goddamn fear scared us into doing it. I think we're good to go. See what floor this is. Probably going to be the bank again, right? Find out the attic sanctum has been cleared. Fish can roll. Haha. <laughs> Nuclear throne reference. It is the bank again. Hello. I'll give you two lots of cash and then I'll be on my way. Oh my god, the music is a five on this floor. Holy shit, I love that music. So good. Right. Keep it going. Kill enemies by shooting at them. I love the fact that they've just memed on the whole tip thing. Laboratory. Last floor to be worried about here. Hoping we can get a better weapon than the paddle, because at the minute the paddle is just not great. It's just like not much better than our actual pistol. At all. The game's like here. Here's more ammo for it. Stop. Oh, we can still zoom across rooms with our jump. I absolutely love that. All out on that weapon now. Back to the pistol. We hope we can find a good one before the end of this floor. We've got 11 HP now. It started with two, remember? Found with just two. That took a while to kill. Wow. Hello. Right in the entire room, you're in upon entering. Chance to block incoming damage. Uh, jumping on enemies hurts them. Unfortunately, not great. I I'll take the candle, because why not? Oh, 
was that again? That's like walking into pots destroys them, isn't it? I don't really need that. Not really worth the extra effort. Taken care of. Rip them green goop guy. And they're getting these beefier enemies more and more. I wonder if I can loop again. I'm guessing it's, an, it's a thing where you can just loop as much as you want to loop. I'm just looking for the the um, thingy at this point. The weapon chest, whatever you want to call it. All I want is another weapon. Ooh, you healed him, did you? A secret room? Nice. I wasn't sure if I saw one or not, but I checked it anyways, and I was right. Ah, I didn't jump quick enough there. Also, this guy didn't die. Wow. Unfortunately, no green teleporter over here, so I'm going to have to navigate all the way back. Oh, there's another secret room here. Hello. Ah, chicken ramen. I'm, I'm sorry, but we're never going to have under 100. Or very rarely, at least. Well, where the hell have I gone? I just, like, jump out of bounds, then. <clears throat> Crazy. Come out of your cages, big fellas. You've got dying to do. As to all of y'all. This is a very, very chaotic room. Holy shit. Oh god, there's those little jumper things as well. There's so many of them too. I'm going to take some damage in this room, I'm sure of it. Yeah, split shots help, but I helped, but I still did, did take some damage. That was rough. The range on this pistol as well is so good. Hey, we've got a weapon shop here. I don't want to buy a weapon unless I can get them free. I'm going to check this room first. Such a big floor. I wonder if loop floors are bigger. Because this definitely seems like a very, very big floor. Damn it. Bad hit. Like, it just kind of imagine how hard this would be if I didn't have, like, if I wasn't this overpowered. If I'm really overpowered right now with my amount of damage and fire rate, and enemies are taking a while to kill. Also, I managed to step on that creep somehow. Sad. Oh my god, it just keeps going. Really? I didn't even step on it. Okay. Got to admit, the creep is BS. Also, fucking these demon spawns. Dude, these demon spawns are scary. How, how is there still more? Oh, so I need more HP. It doesn't even lead anywhere, it's just teleporters. Darn. Not what I was hoping for. There's an enemy in there? Okay, weird. Alright, I guess I'm buying a gun. Crossbow. I'm just gonna buy the crossbow, I think. Pretty cheap. Yours, this room down here, I have a weapon in it now. Bloody hell. There it is. Sex gun. Um, I'll take the sex gun. <laughs> He's finally here. Took him long enough. That's not where I wanted to go. 
Right, just keep going. Do our boss. You got the sex gun. Seems like it could be pretty awesome. Not going to be as much of a destruction as last time. Last time we had that laser and it just annihilated her. I don't even know what to do with that attack. Can I hit you? Oh, dude. She's kind of wrecking me. Okay, we got her. Get out of here. My goodness. This has been something. Been a fun episode, I'll tell you that. I realize I'm using the sex gun, but I'm trying to get as much HP as I can. Oh, really? <laughs> it's a bit late. Bass guitar. Okay, nah, that's a melee weapon. That's not very good for us. That's that's good though. It's just a flamethrower. Right, ghost bullets killing an enemy instantly um, resets your weapon's reload time. That doesn't make mean whatever. Doesn't make any difference to us. I think we just go with Ambrosia here. I guess we'll take it. Why not? Right. Let us go. I think we should be absolutely fine here. We got a lot of items. We got a lot of HP. This flamethrower, I don't know how good it's going to be for the boss, but I can imagine it's going to be pretty decent. I mean, if not, our pistol is kind of insane. Hello. Right, let's give this a go. I don't know if the looped version of this guy is any harder in terms of attacks or if it's just his HP values. I, I literally can't even see the attacks coming in, I'll be honest. So much on screen right now. I'm just hoping for the best. The ammo on that thing's gone already. Ah, oh, we're already done. Already done, baby. Huzzah, huzzah. A looped victory. I feel good about that one. That was a really insane run. Really insane. And we managed to unlock two new characters as well. Pretty, pretty successful. Three new characters. Three new characters, okay. Wow. Not what I was expecting, but great stuff all around. Lots of progress made. And yeah, I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed that run, because goddamn, I very much did. Now try and beat the game as jewels. Yes, that's what we're going to have to do next. I know we've got a lot of new characters, but we have to try and beat the game as jewels. We'll do it on normal mode so that we can unlock the alt path and stuff. Jewels, then Cordelia, and then we unlock the alt path. So we're, we're a few episodes off. But there you go. I hope you guys did enjoy that, and I'll see you guys in the next one.